All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with my good buddy Dotto. Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a really fun video because we're starting back on the mods for the M1000RR. Uh, a lot of the performance mods are done and now we're gonna get to work on making this thing even more beautiful than it is now. All the carbon from Moto Million has arrived except for the tank and the subframe. So we've got a ton of stuff to do there. And today we're gonna be doing some beautiful Rizoma stealth mirrors along with some new turn signals for the front end and hopefully saving a little bit of weight and cleaning it up and making it look even better. Don't forget if you wanna be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash customs. It's always the first link in the description below. Let's get this video started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take a look at these stealth mirrors. I absolutely love these mirrors. We did these on the um, R1M. Yeah, look how freaking cool this is. So I think they have insulation stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Just scan that bad boy. But it's so funny, it says park your stealth here and you put the mirrors there. Oh yeah, it's fucking badass. Look at these things. I like They're these super a lot. cool. I, I, I will admit they're maybe not the most functional mirrors that you can get, but they do still work. But the fact that, I, I mean, I usually don't ride with mirrors anyway, so I usually just leave them folded down, and they actually do provide a little bit of downforce. Mm -hmm. You can probably go online and find out exactly what it, it says is. says right here, to align, there's, um, see these marks? Mm -hmm. You align them for downforce. Yep, there you go. Tells you right there. That's so, so cool. And mm. the mirror is really high quality too. Oh. Yeah, and they're like, they're heavy to move, so they're not gonna like, in the wind, get blown back or anything like that. Aluminum, anodized, black. You can see the little like, machining marks on it. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love products like this. I was actually talking to Rizoma when they first had these and were designing them. They hadn't even shown anybody yet. And they sent me photos because um, they were talking about maybe doing a line of products with me um, for Rizoma. And I was trying to tell them like, I want products that are innovative, you know, things that are different, things that have purpose, th that look cool, that are light, you know, add performance to the bike. And I'm not, I don't want to say that I was the reason why they made these, but you know what I mean? That's what I want, stuff like that. And I think that's super cool. So uh, next we're going to go with the NRC. So um, these stock mirrors have turn signals built into them. So when you remove these, you have to put the turn signal somewhere else. And that's what these are for. So they might look a little odd because on a lot of the Panigales, which you're used to seeing on this channel, they actually go right here. And I'm, I'm curious, well, I, it's actually good that they don't because you couldn't run the Rizoma stealth mirrors if they did that. Um, so these actually sit, and I'm not sure if this is the right side or not. Yeah, it might be the other side, but they're gonna sit like that, right? Is that the right side or does it go the other way? Uh, it's the right side. Oh, okay, just more up in there. Yeah, like that. Look at that. So they're really tucked flush, but they're really bright like the NRC always are, and they look super cool. So shout out to Manny from Moto Million for providing these badass parts for our build. And he for provides many parts. He many parts and for sponsoring this build. If you guys want parts for your motorcycle, go to motomillion.com and use code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. So what's the first order of business here, Dotto? Remove the stock mirrors? No, you get this wrong every time. Drink some whiskey. Drink some whiskey. <laughs> so we're going on the Rizoma website just to look at uh, installation directions, just to look at them for, for shits. Look how cool this shit is. That's showing how they create downforce right there. And then there's even more information about like how they align with your eyes so you don't see them and stuff like that when you're tuck in the tuck position. It's, I didn't realize that they put this much effort into them to be completely honest. I, I hadn't looked at all of this stuff for a little while. So um, yeah, we'll select the BMW and then we'll see if we can find some mounting instructions. All right, well, we couldn't find any instructions. <laughs> the stuff that we did find was in Italian, so. It wouldn't have been helpful anyway. So I guess we're gonna start by uh, just taking shit apart like normal and seeing what happens. Thanks a lot, Geppetto. Is this coming off? Yeah, we just went through the great reset. <laughs> yeah. My fucking GoPro just likes to die and then I have to pull the battery out. So there these are two 10 millimeter nuts on the bottom. I love my 10, 10 mil nuts. These mirrors are freaking aluminum. Mm -hmm. So then the wire goes in here and then the, harness, to the harness is huh? gonna be right there. So I'm gonna take this off, mm -hmm. pull it back and see if I can get to the plug without okay. ripping a lot of stuff apart. Okay. I really don't wanna take the windscreen out, but we have to. Yeah, yeah well it's just four bolts, right? Yeah. yeah. And then once what we'll do is we'll take all this shit off and then we'll weigh it all and see what the weight difference is for all of this Wait as well. A Wait a minute. All right, so he's taking the other side off and as he was looking at where this harness goes, is it, does it go under here, Dotto? Yeah. So we're gonna have to take the windscreen off. And I actually do have a smoked windscreen here. Although I believe Manny might be sending me a carbon windscreen. So we might, it might get swapped out. I mean, it's gonna get swapped out again eventually because we're gonna have to do this in carbon anyway, the whole front fairing. What flavor is it? 
He said it smoked. Oh my god, this guy. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take the windscreen off and we're gonna put a new one on, and then we'll I think we have to take that piece off, which also I think we have coming in carbon as well. So um, yeah, unfortunately we don't have this stuff yet. Actually, we might. I didn't open that big box of carbon. Sorry, Manny. I'll do that when I get home. I promise. Cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's probably unburnt fuel sitting in the exhaust from this tune. There goes the stock uh, mirror. And actually, here, Dado. There goes the stock mirror. Sorry, <laughs> windscreen. You know what I mean. It's a funky um, looking mirror. Let me see if this is easy to open. Okay. Show you guys the new one. So WRS. That's what we always use. And this is a smoked screen. And one of the reasons why we use these is because they use these in racing. Uh, number one, they look really good because they're smoked. But number two is they don't um, warp the light as much, which is what you want when you're tucked behind this racing. And it's more of a bubble too. Yeah, there's a little bit extra. It's like a not a double bubble, but like a little bit more than what the stock. Yeah, ones. but it gets you your um, gets the wind over your helmet over a your lot helmet, easier. So, you're not getting so hold your on, neck. hold on, hold on. Let me do this. For you're not getting your Ready? neck. Hickory. <laughs> smoked. <laughs> All right. All right, so Dotto just pulled his cup off the front of the bike, and we found the uh, turn signal harnesses right here. That's what we needed to get to. So now we can unplug and completely remove these, and then I guess we'll do the turn signals first, yeah. right? And then the mirror, or I'm sorry, then the windscreen, then the mirror, and then the mirrors, right? Sounds good. He's drinking, so he can't answer. We're gonna weigh everything. Well, all the stock parts zeroed out. All right? Isn't that fun to use Dotto compared to the goddamn? I mean, this grip feels a little bit awkward, but... Well, you know what I mean. It's vibrating for some reason. You know, <laughs> stop it. Three pounds, 14 ounces, we're going to call that. So almost four pounds. Holy shit. I'm going to round up to four pounds to make the math a lot easier. So now let's put all the stuff that we're going to be replacing on here and see how much uh, weight savings we got. All right, so it says negative 1.2 ounces because we're going to throw an extra towel in there so we don't scratch things up just so you guys don't think we're cheating so i'm gonna take that off we only cheat on our wives wow okay that's messed up i don't even have a wife all right, hold on hold on let me put this there so you don't scratch it all right go ahead perfect okay yeah we can't have that nice windscreen all jacked up no all right ready there you go dude two pounds over two pounds of weight savings that's actually a lot for doing a windscreen yeah and look at all the shit we're adding you know That's why? That's how heavy those mirrors were. You know why? Why? Because the mirrors are aluminum. They cast aluminum covered in a bunch of junk. So All right, sweet. There you go. All right, so we went on the New Rage Cycle website. They said there's instructions here, but uh, there's no instructions for, what? Is this 2021 and newer? So this one says S1000, and I think it's older because the turn signals that they show in those instructions are strictly for the side. Yeah. Side, side mounted. So, so not going to work for this one. I assume that the spacers go on, the bolts go through the top, and then you put these little keepers on there to keep these in, mm -hmm. and then you just put the nut on the other side. I don't know why there's two different sizes. We're mm. going to have to figure that Do out. Do they attach to the same area where the Rizelma mirror is attached to? Yes. All right, so we went to put this in and realized a couple of things. One, the, uh, the tire, Jesus Christ, <laughs> I didn't even drink. Um, the wire has to get tucked in prior to us sliding this in yeah, place. We'll show you that when we get and there. And then I realized <laughs> that these bolts, one, they don't line up properly with this. And I think it's because these are bigger diameter than the bolts that they gave us. Yeah. These bolts and nuts and spacers, I believe are designed with the block off plates if you're not running mirrors at all. And these go down through the block off plates yeah. and attach at the bottom. So I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to drill these out just a little bit yeah. so these fit. Because look at the difference in the in the size here, right? It's actually it doesn't yeah. it might not come off on camera as a lot. So yeah. we're gonna drill these and then we're gonna put the factory um, nuts back on. Yeah. And, and see are we gonna need to use any spacers or is that gonna work as a spacer there? I think. We should try to utilize at least on the bottom yeah, and something like that. for vibration. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're gonna have to figure that out because I'm not really sure that they thought about this configuration. I think when people put these on, they just put block offs, offs and put like bar ends on. Yeah. So I want to make sure that the factory nuts from the mirrors fit on these. Yeah. And then I'll kind of assemble it loosely and see if we need anything in between. These look like they're tapered to fit yeah. perfectly in those uh -huh. holes, so that we should be good there. So. Okay. So I just I'm using a step. Uh, drill bit. Hopefully that does the trick. With your old Milwaukee drill? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you just bought this because that's also the name of a beer. No. 
That's not why. <laughs> they should name it like a whiskey. So you're stepping down one? Just one, yeah. And then should testing it. Oh, it'll, it'll be perfect. I know it'll be perfect. Testies. It'll testies. definitely, one, these two. testies will be perfect. Mm -hmm. So that works. What I ended up doing is even with just going one size bigger, it wasn't enough. And I didn't want to like oblong the holes. So the other hole, I just want another step up and it fits perfectly and they get tightened down pretty pretty well, yeah, so. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna go too big and then it's loose. You don't wanna hold, it's too no, loose. Nobody likes that. <laughs> the light was actually down a little bit further, so I bent the bracket by hand. Um, it's fairly easy to do, it's aluminum, so now it fits really nice. So next thing we have to do is we actually have to tuck this wire between this carbon piece, if you have a carbon on yours, and this front nose fairing. Uh, it's pretty easy, I'm gonna take this out because I don't want something to get messed up. And you just kind of pull back on this. The wire is going to go right here, like that, and behind there. And then you just kind of like wiggle it down in between. And then the wire will go here and plug into here. Perfect. Okay. I like it. So, another issue that we ran into is the nuts that come with the factory mirrors have these built in washers, and they do not line up here at all. They're like off center. It doesn't fit. Yeah. So I had to get some stainless steel nuts and put them in there. And you can tell that it's still doesn't look like it's built for this configuration. However, when everything's together, you barely be able you to see it. it. Yeah. Um, if this was my bike, after putting these on, I would snip those off. But you know, or we could put a little black nipple on it, like a or rubber, we just rubber nipple. Throw some rubber nipples on her. Yeah. We're still gonna have to take these all back up mm -hmm. apart. So maybe uh, we'll snip them. Maybe. Whenever we get to that point, but who knows. It's time to do some whiskey. So Dotto's got these crazy ass ice balls. And what, what exactly is this thing? <laughs> so I've been doing a lot of whiskey with, uh, this is like a tangerine Mio. And, oh, I, and I put it in nice. there. So now you get some orange flavor Wait, in there. I'm taking yours then? I've already had like eight okay. of them. All right, I feel bad, <laughs> no. but I'll take it. Today we're gonna, gonna do some Rebel. Uh, it's a uh, Kentucky Straight Rebel. Bourbon Whiskey. Yes. So it's, uh, it is 100 proof. Oh. Don't tell teens. But hey, you're not driving home. So nope, I'm not. she's you're picking you up. Me. That's right. I rode the bike over. So wait till you taste it. Oh my God. That's I always let that like. A lot of whiskey. No, nah, it's not because the ball takes <laughs> I know. It looks it. like it though. It looks like it. That's crazy. It's a totally different color because of the orange. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Orange, you glad we're doing so this? What are we using for today? Uh, a little bit of oak. A little bit of oak, baby. Mm -hmm. And again, you can support your boy and get your own sm smoker kit, which is perfect for winter and the holidays. Oh, yeah. Dottomade.shop.com. <laughs> Dottomadeshop.com. Sorry. Dottomadeshop.com. And I might oh, as well. Oh, you running a... I might as well. I'm, for the rest of November, I'm doing 10% off. You spend 100 bucks on go. the website. And uh, so I might, might as well spill the beans. Yeah, my, <laughs> might as well spill the beans. So I'm making custom decanters. If you guys follow me on my shop oh, page, do you have see. one here? I don't. Oh, come on. But. Oh, it's on the page. There is a, yeah, it's on the page. What's that there? So Somebody there's... else's decanter? No, that's okay. just one of my collections. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I am doing custom decanters with a wooden label. Maybe I'll throw a photo of with it up on custom, the screen. Custom, custom wooden label, and yeah, it's they look dope. It's badass. Can I get one, please? I'm gonna buy one for Christmas. Custom about, yeah, right. they're right now. I'm running a special for you. They're like okay, twice perfect. the price. I'm gonna yeah. get one for, for I'm gonna get one for teens that says teen or wieners on it. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, just just that, a fuck with her. That, that has a bunch of cats on it. <laughs> yeah. Also, you guys gotta let me know what you think about this quality. Everyone was complaining about the um, G7X focusing issues. So I switched over to the GoPro Hero 10 and with the media mod, I actually love it. Um, it is a little muffled when I'm behind it, but there's really nothing I can do about that. Um, but there's no focusing issues and the picture quality is actually phenomenal and I can shoot in 4K if I want to. Although with how long my videos are, it becomes massive file sizes. So that's why I haven't been shooting in 4K. I think 1080p is fine. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And, I, and if you guys really like the GoPro, then I can pick up the Hero 11 and we'll move forward with even better quality. But I love that I can talk, show you guys something, flip it around, talk to you here, flip it right back around and still in, in focus. So I really enjoy using this. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay. Let's let these puppies smoke. All right. So I've had many smoked drinks. I've never had <laughs> this, actually this whiskey, and I've never had it with whatever the hell this thing is. So, hey, to everybody who drinks while you watch our videos, cheers. We appreciate you guys. Cheers. Hmm? You like it? 
Well, we're not getting any more work done. <laughs> Sorry guys, one mirror down. That's pretty much all we get. Dado got the other side installed. So I'm hoping that when we turn the key, the mirrors flip automatically. Oh, no, just kidding. Look the earth. Hey, listen, Rizoma. Do it up. Do it $700 up. Seven hundred dollars for a set of mirrors. Uh huh. And they weigh twice as much too. Here we go. All ready. Let's and do. we actually didn't turn this on before we had everything plugged in because this will actually notice if you don't have a. Uh, turn signal plugged in and it'll throw an error. The bulb goes up. Yeah. Look at that. There's the right. Okay. Oh, oh, sweet. Damn, that is bright as shit, dude. Left. Holy shit. That's not coming off so much on camera, but damn. The... Oh, and you have the... Dude, look at that. That's impressive. They're really, really cool. I don't... Yeah, hold on a second. Let me... Yeah. We'll see the low light capabilities of the GoPro. Oh, dude, look how... Fucking bright that is. Look at my camera up there. What? Look at the shop cameras. They're just going nuts. <laughs> wow, Dude. the front and the rear LEDs. Oh yeah, because we got NRC in the back too, right? Yeah, check it out. Look at that. Holy shit. Oh shit, I almost ate it. <laughs> that is actually badass. All right, I like it. Sweet. I actually love how the bike looks right now too. So do I. I cannot wait to start putting carbon on this fucking thing, dude. All right, so uh, windscreen, and we're done. A uh, little cover. Oh, that's windscreen. right. Windscreen. Little cover, and then, and then the windscreen. And then a little whiskey, and we're good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Look at this. He set the new uh, windscreen on there. God, it looks so good. So we're gonna have to decide if we want to keep this one or use the new one. That's like half carbon. Like carbon comes like all the way up, like to here. So once we get the other one, we'll compare it side by side, and we'll see. What are we getting? We're getting a windscreen that's like half carbon, half windscreen. Yeah. What? Yeah, full six makes them. Are you serious? Uh -huh. We're getting that too? Yeah, so he said we can decide which one we want to use, but I think this looks pretty damn good. Now, you know me, I'm a fan of carbon, but only if it's functional and it's lighter. Otherwise, I'd probably keep this one. Um, he's What he's doing right now is transferring over the uh, grommets. I, <laughs> grommet. Mm, grommet. We should have done it off, so children, don't, if you're doing this. Don't do as Dotto does. Yeah. You want to pull it off? You want to play it safe? No. Oh, I got you got it? it? Yeah. Oh. My sausage go. fingers even fit in there. And actually, I told him too, we have a full titanium bolt kit for this. And we actually do have it here. But since we're going to be taking this back off, I don't want to scratch the titanium bolts or anything like that when, we're, when we do the full carbon stuff. So yeah, we have a full carbon fairing kit, windscreen, everything. Um, I think we'll wait. And they are blue titanium too, so that's going to look fucking incredible. All the bolts are actually pink, but he doesn't want to tell you that. <laughs> Dude, I love this. This looks so good. All right, windscreen is completely installed. I love the clarity of this. It's so incredible. I just want to install it. I just want to talk to him. Um, yeah, it looks incredible. I'm really, really happy with that. Got a little bit more wind protection now too, when you're tucked in there. It's gonna make everything just a tiny bit darker, which is also really nice. We got our NRC uh, turn signals, one on each side. We got our Rizoma Stealth mirrors. Oh, we gotta peel those. Yeah, we gotta peel that off. Yeah. So you can have them right there. Ready? We got mirrors. Ready? Remove before oh. flight. Oh, oh they're ASMR. blue. Oh, they're nice. That. Yeah, God, baby. That's beautiful. And then right after you go past the cop. You flip them up. You flip them back down. He's like, sir, where's your mirrors? Well, I'm <laughs> glad you asked. What do you mean? They're right there. I pulled you over for no mirrors, and by the time he, he walks back from the car, you got your mirrors up. Look at that. All right, put it back down. Because that's how I roll. Yeah. You know who made these? That's how I jelly who? roll. What? You know who actually made these? What? Dave. Dave Mira. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> He'll be here all day. It's like those dad jokes. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's it. So again, huge shout out to Manny from Moto Million for providing these absolutely gorgeous parts. If you need parts for your motorcycles, go to motomillion.com. Use code CAMPEASY to save yourself some money. Uh, thank you, Dada, for your hard work. As always, look at them. And um, thank you guys for watching. If you want to be entered to win this bike, patreon.com slash CAMPEASYCUSTOMS. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.